Hello folks, today I'm going to show you how to change the inverter on a laptop screen. The inverter is what provides the um, required input to provide the light at the back of the uh, screen so you can see all the display and the information. If your screen looks like this, but you can see right in behind it, it means the backlight or the inverter is gone. On this laptop, to remove the uh, inverter you need to uh, disconnect the battery make sure you earth yourself on something metallic take out the three screws there and then that should be sufficient to uh, take this uh, this panel off just gently ties it apart now that exposes one part of it. Then what you need to do is take out the six retaining screws on the uh, front panel. There's one in each corner and two in the middle. They sit behind these plastic covers. Once you've done that, you remove the screws. Just apply a little pressure on the edge. Run your finger on the edge just to prise it up, release the grip. And that's it. It should come out quite easily, like so. Okay. On this module, the inverter is easily visible, which is this one here. There's the input one side and the other. All you need to do is pull these out, take out these two screws here, and it just flops out, like so. Okay. There you go. This is one taken out earlier as you can see. This ribbon cable is what's at the back of the uh, screen. This end goes to the actual board that controls the display itself. And these are the connectors that provide the power to the display and the information, much like the VGA cable on a standard uh, computer. This goes into here. As you can see, remember it only goes in one way, so uh, check and draw it out before you do anything. And if you have a look at the actual uh, unit, you can see the top part. The top is wider than the bottom, so it can only go in one way. Same with this one. As you can see, there's a notch on the top, so you can't get it wrong. It's possible to do it, but uh, then the board is useless. Once you've done that, just put the display back in here, put the screws on, put the covers up, back on, like so. And then you fix your laptop. Just remember folks, um, Make sure you count the number of screws you put back and you don't have any left. That way you don't short anything out. And a uh, quick demo to prove that this works. This is what you'll get uh, after you start it up because you fail to shut down properly. There we go, as you can see, quite easy to do. Don't be afraid to have a go, but uh, do it on a dead one first. Okay, thanks for watching folks. Bye.